Why are you all the way over there? Just sitting. Are you really all right? You said you saw yourself burn with the vampires in your vision. Are you still feeling the effects of that? I'm a little thirsty, and my eyes still stink, but I'm fine. Shall I get you some water? No. I got it. You carry all your tension here. Your hands are complete magic. Anything for you, my beauty. Whoa, what is it? I love you. I'm glad to hear you say it. I'm in love with you too, Aphrodite. God, this sucks. What? Your parents are not in love. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, you're not your mother. I know that. Do you really know that? You are capable of love even if your mother's not. It doesn't change the fact that this situation between us sucks. You're a vampire. I'm a human. The most I could ever be to you would be to be your consort, and I can't even be that because I'm already fucking imprinted to Stevie Bumpkin fucking Ray, an imprint I can't seem to break despite the fact that you've bitten me too. I don't believe you're right about all of that. You're more than a human, and your imprint with Stevie Ray doesn't affect us. It's only more evidence of your importance than Nick's. And she knows Stevie needs you. You don't need me. Aphrodite, I do need you. For what? We aren't even fucking. Aphrodite, why are you doing this? You know I desire you, but we're more than bodies and lust. We're connected beyond that. I don't see how. I do. I need to ask you something. God, is what? Aphrodite Lafont. Beloved prophetess of Nyx, I ask that you accept my warrior's oath. Sworn to you on this day, I pledge to protect you with my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. I pledge to belong to you before all others and to be your warrior until I draw my last breath on this world and beyond, if our God is so wills it. You accept my oath. So he's your high priestess. If you're going to pledge yourself to anybody, it has to be her. Zoe is my high priestess just as much as she is yours. And she already has a warrior. I've witnessed Stark's enthusiasm for his sworn oath. She does not need another warrior shadowing her. And she's also given her blessing for my pledge to you. She did what? I found it important to explain this to our high priestess. Well, this isn't an impulse. You've actually thought this through. Of course. I want to protect you forever. You can. My pledge is mine to give. And this is no hindrance. I'm young, but my skills are vast. And I can assure you, I can protect you. I know that there is. That's, that's the issue. You're too damn good. I don't understand. Why would you want to be sworn to somebody like that? I'm a bitch. You are unique. I hurt everyone who's ever come close to me. Well, it's a good thing that I'm a strong warrior. Nyx knew exactly what she was doing getting into you. And I'm more than content with the choice our God has had for me. Because you deserve to be valued beyond wealth, status, and beauty. Aphrodite, you deserve to be valued for yourself. So I ask again, do you accept my warrior's hope? Thanks, <laughs> 